Well, there's, I mean, when you look at the maps, this rain that's coming into Ohio right now extends mm -hmm. all the way towards Nashville, honestly, all the way towards the Gulf Coast. So mm -hmm. there's a lot coming towards us. And there'll be a couple breaks here and there, but it'll be 30 minutes, Danielle, where you're dry, and then you just go right back to some showers. So you'll get lucky if you get a quick dry break. But right now we're watching the weather maps, and all this moisture is just coming in from the south and west. High pressure has kind of deteriorated over time, and it's allowing all this moisture just to ride up uh, from the Gulf and right towards uh, the Buckeye state but most of Ohio is getting the rain except our corner but we're about to get in on some of those showers very soon they're coming in right over uh, 71 in from Columbus and and then once they start they'll pretty much be on and off the rest of the day and honestly going into tomorrow too we're watching a quick band though pop up right now in Huron County Erie County this is headed north and east into Lorraine County Elyria you're about to pick up some of these showers Medina a couple sprinkles towards you guys too and we're drying downtown, but that'll change here very shortly. The main bands of rain are just towards our south and west coming into Richland County, the Mansfield area, Holmes County, uh, just south and west of Worcester. We're getting some of the showers, but they're coming in very quickly. And so it's just going to be a wet Wednesday. No way to get around it. We're going to try to top out right at 70 degrees later this afternoon, but I think most of the day will probably be stuck in those 60s. And uh, those south winds will be out there just continuing to carry in those rain showers. But there could be a quick rumble of thunder. Today's not a very nice, severe weather setup at all. There's really no chance for that. There could be a quick rumble of thunder, but most of the time this is just going to be a plain Jane boring rain that's coming in uh, with that south wind at sunset day 855 later today. Our other highs will probably be stuck in those 60s and 70s. Here's a look at your national design mark, hour by hour forecast. I want to walk through the next two days with you because tomorrow is going to be very similar today. The bands of rain just keep coming in from the south and west. This is six o'clock, so just about an hour or so from now. The rain mainly in our southern counties. It expands towards the north. I think by lunch time today. Most of us are getting this light rain and that's the key today. I think a lot of it's just light, but as it continues all day, those rainfall totals will try to rack up a little bit. This is five o'clock this evening. Scattered showers still coming in. They may try to pick up a little bit more towards sunset and overnight. You can see some of the heavier pockets of rain moving in from the south and west with those south winds. And then overnight, it just continues to rain. Waking up tomorrow morning on go, we're going to be tracking more showers for you as they just keep on coming in from the south and west. And that just continues. Tomorrow is interesting because there could be a better chance for a quick rumble of thunder in the afternoon. And then I think by about nine o'clock, yes, you do see a lot going on in the radar, but towards the west, eventually those clear skies will move on through. So just after sunset tomorrow, I think the rain will finally get out of here. But for the daylight hours today and tomorrow, it's going to rain. Rainfall for this week, I think by the end of the day, a lot of us are trying to approach the half inch mark. Tomorrow, I think the heavier rain starts to come in, especially with some of those downpours if we try to get a quick thunderstorm or two. By the end of this week, we should be picking up around an inch. A few of us may try to get a little bit more than that. After though the rain, we finish that late Thursday evening, we're dry for the rest of the week and towards the weekend, going back towards 80s, maybe even some 90s next week. Next week looks very humid, very steamy, very warm, and we'll also get maybe a chance for an isolated pop-up thunderstorm. But the rain comes in for today and tomorrow, just for the day forecast. Bring the umbrella. You need the rain gear today. The good news is that it's lighter today. Tomorrow, Danielle, it could be a little bit heavier, so we'll be watching that closely.